Well, tonight, the Manhattan grand jury investigating former President Donald Trump met again today. This afternoon's star witness was the former publisher of the National Enquirer, David Pecker. It's all related to the hush money payments made to former porn star Stormy Daniels. CBS's Robert Costa is outside the courthouse in New York City. Sources close to the investigation tell CBS News that David Pecker's appearance today is a sign District Attorney Alvin Bragg might be finalizing a case against former President Donald Trump. In 2016, it was Pecker who encouraged efforts by then-candidate Trump and Michael Cohen to prevent damaging stories about Trump from being published. Pecker's top editor at the National Enquirer deliberated with Cohen about making payments to Stormy Daniels to keep her alleged encounter with Trump out of the headlines. Soon after, Cohen paid Daniels $130,000 in hush money, later reimbursed by Trump. Pecker has already testified, so that means that his return trip is really just to underscore a point he's already made. And unless there's another Pecker in the wings, that means that what happens now is that the DA or the assistant DA asks for a vote on the indictment. Security has been increased outside and inside Manhattan criminal court following a death threat delivered to Bragg last week and at least two bomb threats. When they go after me, they're going after you. Trump continued his attacks on Bragg and the investigation at a campaign rally in Waco, Texas, Saturday. Prosecutorial misconduct is their new tool, and they are willing to use it at levels never seen before in our country. On Sunday, over 150 former federal prosecutors signed a letter condemning Trump's rhetoric saying they denounce efforts to intimidate the Manhattan district attorney. But such calls haven't stopped Trump's allies in Congress who have been demanding information related to Bragg's probe. This is about politics. This is a presidential candidate. When you look at what we believe the role of the Manhattan DA should be is to fight crime. A Trump lawyer tells CBS News that the district attorney has not reached out, a possible indication that no indictment was made today and that the investigation carries on. Nora. Robert Costa with all that new reporting. Thank you.